to another video. I hope you have been enjoying the mini season series. To wrap up the end of the mini season series though, I figured it would be perfect to share with you guys my favorite way to eat these lobsters, at least lately. It's been uh, pretty much every day since we went down to Key West for mini season that I've been making this same exact meal. It's my favorite meal of the day. Like it's the thing I look forward to the most. So I just thought it would be uh, great to share with you guys because it is so delicious. And not only is it delicious and like my favorite meal ever, it's fast, simple, healthy, easy. And that is the whole point of this video. I want it to be as fast as possible. So we're gonna get right to it. The only things you need are your lobster tails, salt and pepper, a lime, lime juice, and butter. And this is the butter I use. You see, Kerry Gold. And this is the salted version in the gold wrapper. And this butter is amazing. I don't eat any other butter. This, you gotta get this, it makes a difference. So, and then you're just gonna need a knife to cut your tails. And then you're gonna preheat your oven to 375. Okay, so that's gonna go, and you're gonna hear it in the background. I'm sorry, my oven's really loud. And then, of course, a baking sheet, and I like to use a piece of parchment paper over the top, just so um, I don't have to clean it later. So that's all you need for this recipe. That's it, it is so freaking simple and, and easy. First thing you wanna do is cut your tails, and this is how I like to cut my tails. Let me show you really close. If you notice in the, in the videos of us cleaning the lobsters, we had a lot of molting lobsters, a lot of soft shell lobsters, so I have not cut one of these yet. I'm gonna see how it goes today. Of course, I have this one, which is a regular hard one. So, I like to start with my knife and cut right there. Don't cut all the way through the tail, just cut right at the base and then straight down like that and then you open it up in half just like this okay just like that that is probably my favorite way to cook it so let me cut this uh, soft one let me see how this goes that we've done this before already seems to want to come off the shell so I'm just gonna leave it like that okay so there there's that so once you have your tails cut open and they're laying out just like this all you're gonna do is add salt and pepper to your tasting and then a little slice of butter on top of each half I'll show you just light salt nothing crazy and I like cooking the tails like this uh, I've cooked them the other way where you pull the meat out and lay it across the top of the shell. And that's good, you know, I don't see anything wrong with that, but I don't know, I just have like such a weird way with lobster tails. <clears throat> I just really prefer cooking them with the meat in the shell like this because um, once you they're cooked and then you take pull them out of the shell, Oh, I love pulling the meat right off the shell. You will see what I'm talking about in a second. So I've cut a little slice of butter like this, and I'm just going to lay, I'm just probably gonna cut it uh, in half again, long ways. All right, this is not a sharp knife, it's really dull. So I have my two slices of butter, and I'm gonna lay them across the top of each half of the lobster. So you can do as much butter as you want, uh, and then you can add whatever seasoning you want too, you know? I just like salt and pepper, I like to keep it simple. This is what my butter looks like on the tails. And, uh, and I'm done. So, I'm just gonna lay them on my baking sheet. Like this. Okay. So now they look like that on the baking sheet. Once my oven is finished preheating, I'm just gonna throw them in the oven for 15 minutes. 
It really depends on your oven and how big your lobster tails are and whatever. But for, on average, lately, when I've been eating this every day, I've literally been making this every day, I found that anywhere from like 14 to 15 minutes is just right. And you don't want to overcook the lobster because then it gets really like tough and chewy. And then you don't want to undercook it either, but uh, you definitely do not want to overcook it. That's like a big thing. Oh, so my side today is just going to be steamed broccoli, healthy, simple. I'm going to toss it in the microwave. And I'm going to dip the broccoli in the same butter lime juice sauce that we're going to make for the lobster meat in a second. And that is so delicious. Oh my gosh. So hold on. My oven just went off. I'm gonna throw these. Oh, mm, I'm already drooling. Okay. Okay. So, uh, while I'm waiting for my lobster tails, I just figured I'd show you how I did my broccoli real quick. I just have some broccoli in a bag. I have this large Pyrex, Pyrex jar measuring jar glass. I just put a little bit of water in the bottom, just a little bit, and then as I want. I like a lot of broccoli. All right, that's good, but we'll leave. Okay, so there's the broccoli. I have about seven minutes left still on my tail. Um, I'm getting hungry. And then, let me show you what I do. I take a piece of wax paper and I crumple it up. Just so that it's, um, it's not just like a flat piece of paper sitting off, across the top of the jar. It's crumpled up so I can kind of wrap it around like that. And I just pop this in the microwave for two minutes. I finally have two minutes left on the tails. It smells really good, actually. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. Okay, and once the broccoli is done, then I'm going to throw this in the microwave too for about 15, 20 seconds just to melt the butter uh, and not like boil it, you know, because I don't want to like uh, burn the butter, I guess. I just melt it just enough. And then I'm gonna cut my lime right now. So I cut my lime in half like this and I just juice both halves and I uh, pour, you can pour all the juice into your melted butter or you can um, pour some of the juice on the actual tail of the, the meat of the tail. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna check them. Do you wanna check them with me? Okay, so when I check the tail, I just kind of gently press on it with like a knife or a spoon or something just to see if it's firm. Oh yeah. So they feel good to me. I'm gonna take them out. All right, look at those. I'm just gonna tell you really quick. When you're cooking the lobster tail, you want it to look opaque white, okay? You press on it with, you know, a fork or a knife or something, it should be pretty firm. A little bouncy, but firm. All right, and then of course the shell you'll see changes color. It's gonna be like a nice bright orangey color, not like the brown that it came, that it started out as. So these are some beautiful finished lobster tails. Mm-mm. So my broccoli is done. Ready? And my lime juice is ready. Let me throw these away. And I'm gonna throw this melt this butter. I'm gonna I'm gonna melt this butter in the microwave real quick. 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20. I melted the butter. It's it's nice and like liquid yellow. Now I'm just going to pour in all of this lime juice. This is like maybe two tablespoons of lime juice. It really thins the butter out. Like so nice. And it, oh my gosh, the flavor is incredible. You can see in the last video, I discovered this thanks to Hunter, who uh, is uh, the photographer that lives down in Key West who has this for mini season every year. Uh, we always have a great time with Hunter. So thank you, Hunter, for showing me this recipe and, well, this sauce. Stir up the lime juice with the butter. 
All right, and I'm done. I just spent like five minutes getting a thumbnail photo. It's just really hard for me today. So I'm going to show you how I pull the meat out of the shell. Mm. You see how it's just coming right out of the shell? It's a little, you gotta be, you know, tough, but look at that. See how clean the shell is? It just, this is the meat, comes right, right off the shell. And that is probably to me like the most like satisfying thing, but. Oh my gosh. So there, all the meat is out of the shell. And then just try to pull out as much as you can from the back. There's a little bit of meat left in the back end right there, which you can pick out later if you want. But then I just toss the tail and then this is the meat right here. And then I leave it usually on the plate like that if I'm serving myself. So now I'm going to taste it. Now I got my photo, my thumbnail. I showed you guys how I, ooh, I showed you guys how I like to take it out of the shell. It is, mm, it's cooked perfectly, you know. I think you can say by now I know what I'm doing. I've been eating this every day. Also, I do have other, um, I do have other lobster recipe videos that I've filmed in the past year. So if you wanna check out those videos, I'll pop them up right there or they'll be in the description box below so you can give those a little watch if you're interested, if you wanna see a different lobster recipe. But here goes the first bite. Dip it in this lime butter juice. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mmm. That is my favorite thing. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Mmm. 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 So if I was going to describe the texture of lobster tail, I would say it's more in the category of like a scallop or like crab meat. It's not really flaky like uh, like the meat of a fish is. It's more like, oh, wait, what's the texture? It's soft. It's like a little maybe even rubbery, but like in a good way. Oh my God, I, I love, and it's, it's like sweet. Mm. I'm a big fan of scallops too, so if you don't like scallops, you might not like lobster tail. But I don't see how you wouldn't like it. Mmm, that's so good. I wasn't gonna eat a second tail, I was gonna save it for later, but I think I might eat it now because this is so good. The soft shell lobster that I cut, the meat looks the same. It's falling off the shell, of course, you know. I'm opening it right now. It's also cooked perfectly. There we go. And it tastes just as good. So I'm just gonna say that. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm definitely eating both these tails right now. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna finish eating these lobster tails. I'm just gonna enjoy them. Look forward to my next video. I've got a really cool spearfishing video coming out next, so look forward to that. Hit the like button if you like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm.